Um, but yeah, I've been collecting helmets, so that's my new <laughs> obsession. <laughs> Started you, collecting helmets. Are you still collecting Funko Pops? Yes, are I you actually still collecting lightsabers. Yes, you have got a problem. <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, Funko's lightsabers and now helmets. Um, I've got Mando's helmet. I've got Iron Man's helmet. Nice. I've got Spider Man helmet from uh, in, uh, Endgame. Dope. That. Yeah, yeah. Nanotech one. Um, and then I just got Boba Fett's helmet. Because I'm going to have a man cave of all the helmets, all the lightsabers, and all my Funkos that I like. Are you going to fill the helmets with the heads of your enemies? <laughs> Keep going. That's right, Chuck. Hello there. Assemble. Just Chuck a fire. 99ers, we are back with episode 29. We have got a full staff today. David, I'm back. John, hello. Austin, we're here and we're excited to talk on the podcast today. Uh, if you do not yet subscribe to this channel, dude, it would mean the world to us if you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment. We're going to be going over a lot of content today, and we want your feedback throughout it. So, David, what are we doing? Today, I have found an article that goes over the top 50 best Star Wars characters of all time. Mm. Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's look at the water. Let's chum it a little bit. What do we think chum that mother is water. going to be in this list? <laughs> um, uh, top 50 Star Wars characters. I think they're gonna throw Babu Frick in there just for the frick of hey. it. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> a little oh, better. That's pretty good. Um, better, better question: Who ranks higher, Jango Fett or Boba Fett? Boba. Oh my gosh. Boba. What yeah. the heck's wrong with you guys? He's, the He's got his own show. I, okay. <laughs> so what? All right. Jango has his own video game. Oh no, that's right. I'll Dave. be happy if Omega's not on the list. Oh shoot. That's my goal. She will be. She will be. She's from Bad Batch. She's I'm a princess of all of Camino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, who else, Sean? Do you think Freck made? The I hope cut? Jar Jar Binks. Um, I hope Ned B, but I don't think he will be. R.I.P. In peace. Uh, any? Let's. How about this? Anybody from the Obi Wan Kenobi show? Do you think they're gonna shoehorn oh, somebody into that Reva. list? Reva. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I sure hope not. Riri. Uh, no, Riva's not going to be on this list. Name. The delay sometimes is a little bit tricky, but... That's all right, Sean. Okay. I trust you. That Cal... Cal no! <laughs> that makes me laugh every time. It's so weird. Uh, who else, David? I think... I mean, top 10 is definitely going to be Vader. Palpatine. Yeah. I, I think they're just going to get all the original characters in there. Who's the top lady? Leia. Ray. No, Leia. They're going to go Ray. What no. if they did Raya? I don't know Riva. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, from that's... Kotor too, right? Oh, that's right. Kreia is her name actually. Anybody from uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes on that list? A little bit of Jedi Consular action. <laughs> that's the guy you start with. So I'm trying to see before we dive into this list if it is just canon or if it's like everything. Legends. It's probably just canon. It, yeah, it <laughs> seems like it's just canon. Um, but I guess we'll find out if we see a... a you tell me there's not going to be no low Baca in there? As Sean rattles off characters nobody's heard of, how many of these f top 50 do you think that you'll actually know? 30. I would... I Yeah, maybe 35. 50. How many is it? <laughs> how many is it, David? It's 50. Um, but they do give us a little bonus. Um, they give us six more than 50. <laughs> 56 it is. So it's a top 50 list. Who has ever made a top 56 <laughs> list? We're calling it top 50. There's 56. So let's start it off. 56, we got Zori Bliss. Ah, from the newest one. Poe Dameron's love interest. Yeah. The, the girl he wanted to kiss. Is this 56 or 50? It was 56. Oh my gosh. The chick that was in the movie and had seven lines and they made her feel very important. And she was on the cover, wasn't she? I'm, I, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to say this before we even start, even though we started. <laughs> I'm going to try not to poo poo on everything. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to have a, you need to stop doing a that. good mindset. But at number 55, we got Hammerhead. He is the, uh, Hammerhead looking dude in the cantina behind the bar. 
He's got like the long, like his his head shape kind of goes like this, yeah, and yeah. then it's a hammerhead. I didn't know that was his name. Um, it's wait, just hammerhead. He's the guy from the cantina. Yeah, because in Who the is he? Because in the Clone Wars, isn't there a senator? Oh, and then even Boba Fett. Yeah, he's in Boba Fett. He's the, like the governor of the town. Yeah, and yes. then he's uh, I think what is it? Ithorians is the name of the species. It's a what this list is going to do is really show off Sean's Star Wars it, knowledge. I think here. it says. A I thought you were about to say it's going to show off how many times I have to hit the e no. Button. I was. <laughs> it is I have a full faith in you. Denizen of the Moss Eisley Cantina Bar on the planet of Tatooine. All Den- right, Denizen. I mean, Denizen. He, sure, he's a very original character. I mean, who drew up that sketch? Taps off. You know what's cool about this list? What? They give a why do we love him. Oh, oh nice. that's nice. <laughs> so if we really want to get into those, we can. All right, number 54. So at any time, if I really feel like, hey, you got to tell me why. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'll give you a why. Boy song. Cool. And the, let's just say um, who wrote this, it is Tom Huddleston. He was a film editor in London, so he knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Is he related to Tom Hiddleston? Probably not. Those are two different last names. <laughs> Number 54, Sebulba. Oh, wow. Sebulba's great. Just yeah. a classic. Remember we were talking about with Noah, they should do a whole series yeah. on Sebulba? His rise up the ranks. Yeah, the like an HBO scene. dramatic, you know, miniseries. Like What's Chern- his family Get like? Get the guy like? who did Chernobyl. How many times was he looked over until he made his big break? Well, the good we did. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that to them, justice was done. You see, a just world is a sane world. There was nothing sane about Sabalba. Like remember when he How like people has crashed his pod racer, and he like smashed his fist, and he's like, Ah, Pudu! Well, what if you find out that like Pudu was his like grandfather's name, oh. and like he made a promise that he would win the Bunta or his son? Who Eve. Had yeah, cancer. and it's like this isn't just like a, oh, the bad guy gets his come up and sits. Go, keep going, Dave. Number fifty three, Admiral Mahdi. So this guy is the guy who challenges Vader, saying like, oh, the force isn't really real. And ah. then Vader's like, and he's like, oh, the first no. choke guy. Yeah, he gets nice. choked. <clears throat> I mean, he, he's the one who brought it all home for us. Force choke was introduced through his arrogance. Mm-hmm. Take that, atheists. <laughs> Checkmate. Uh, number 52, Galen Urso. Uh, uh, okay. From Rogue One. The man himself, Stardust. the man who designed the Death Star, and also reluctantly, the, um, the way to destroy it. The man with the plan. <clears throat> That's cheating, though. He sabotaged. Because Mad Mikkel, Mad Mickelson is just an amazing actor, no matter what he does. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. All right, next. I wonder if you guys will will know this. Cornelius Evazan and Panda Baba. Uh yeah, that's uh, Pan, it's Panda Baba is the guy who gets his arm cut off. Yeah, oh, you're right. Nice. It's a, guy, a, new, a new hope. Or no, OG. Not, not him, but not yes. the yeah, They're, not the guy who says you'll be dead, but the other guy. The well, guy. it's both of them. Cornelius is him. They're in two movies though, Sean. Yeah, Rogue One. They make a unnecessary cameo. Very unnecessary. What were they doing on that planet? <laughs> and how uh, did they get off before the Death Star destroyed it? They just got lucky and then their luck ran out like three days later. Uh, yeah. All right, now on to our actual list. Top 50. Number 50, we've got the clumsy stormtrooper. <laughs> the guy who hits his head? Yes. So the guy that trips. Uh, are they wrapped see. into one? Who is he? As platoons of Imperial stormtroopers pursue our heroes around the first Death Star, one particularly e- English. Sorry, is my eyes are not very good. Inelegant foot soldier manages to give himself a mighty good crack on the noggin <laughs> <laughs> with a partially descended blast door. <laughs> nice. Guy Remember when there was like all those theories that that was actually Snoke's origin story? He had a dented <laughs> head. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. It all gives right. their like key lines, like what they say in the movie, mm-hmm. and his is ow. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Cool. All right. Number 49, Major Brenderlin. He's a Rebel Alliance officer during the short stay on the ice planet of Hoth, who bears a striking resemblance to a certain Boston barfly. 
You know, we're starting off, and I don't feel confident about yeah. how many of these characters I'm going to know, Sean. Is he the guy who says, you're a good fighter, Solo. I hate to lose you. See that guy? Um, <laughs> your Highness, there's nothing more we can do tonight. The shield door be closed. Be closed. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know that guy. Now who fancies him? <laughs> he's yeah, in the shot. top 50. Sean, you're going to like this one. Well, ready? He's, a, he's got some good lines. He's memorable. I guess so. Number I can't 48. Wait. Tell me. Itchy. Yeah! Chewbacca's dad, apparently. Yeah, he watches a extremely graphic, inappropriate things on his, like, VR headset. What? <laughs> what, what is going on? You I guys don't know. have never watched the uh, the Star Wars Holiday Special, have you? No. Yeah, it'll change your life. Dang. Itchy's creepy. All right, number 47, <laughs> they've got the Rancor Keeper. So this oh, is the no. guy that comes in and cries. Oh, uh, yeah. Why are you pointing at me? <laughs> because I sent our group chat a video of Obi-Wan Kenobi. It was a montage of, like, name me a character that's had more oh, heartbreak yeah, yeah, and yeah, loss. Yeah, yeah, and right. Sean followed up with the Rancor yeah. Keeper of, like, checkmate. This guy's got the most heartbreaking story in Star Wars. Yeah. The guy yeah. probably has a truly dramatic backstory. I mean, you make a miniseries about that guy and Sebulba. What happened then? And after. All of it. All of it. Madness. How long do you think you raised that rancor for? <sighs> 50 years. Since birth, probably. Yeah. They grew up together. Part of me believes, like, the. He didn't save the Rancor. The Rancor saved him. Oh, man. <laughs> and he had, like, a really dark past. The Rancor trained him. But the, the Rancor <laughs> brought some light into it. Yeah. Um, number 46. He was probably high on death sticks before he met the Rancor. Salacious B. Crumb. Jabba uh, the Hutt's yes. pet. The delightful yeah. Salacious Crumb. Nice. His Creepiest key line is... <laughs> <laughs> I remember that, yeah. <laughs> Anthony right. Daniels famously had a panic attack while they put the puppet on his face in Revenge of the or Return of the Jedi. He did? Well, because he was like in that kind of plastic armor and it was he was lying on his back and he just felt like he couldn't breathe and they had yeah. the puppet. That's the scene where he eats his, his eye, eye, right? Yeah. Yeah. He had a panic attack. Classic. He oh he freaked out in the movie, so it's cool to know that was actually real. <sighs> yeah, and he's been having a panic panic attack uh for forty years straight now. Dang, poor guy. He'll be okay. Let's just keep putting him in that tin can. <laughs> yeah, just, Keep it up. How many man. more movies can we crank out? Don't give up. Uh, number 45, Maz Kanata. Uh, okay. I, which, <laughs> dude, we have no backstory about her. She's just apparently the goat, and yeah, she just knows where everything is. She's and how super to important, a but you don't know why or another how. time, Dave. Right, yeah. Maybe a comic book series in 2027. Right. Uh, which, fun fact. How fun? The... Uh, the guy in Andor that's mm -hmm. trying to help the kid out, mm -hmm. it's actually her dad. Wait, what? And he is the one who didn't taught we, Maz how we, to do all the robotics didn't stuff. Didn't we talk about this? Like, we made a joke about that was Maz's same species That was Maz. her dad? No, but, I'm totally lying. Yeah, like, okay. <laughs> all right. I see. Where'd number you get that info? I made it up for dramatic effect. <laughs> Uh, number 44, Gonk Droid. Gonk! Dude, oh. he should be way higher. Big, chonky, 70s TV set. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if Gonk Droid's on there, no, Ned B still won't be on there. A K2SO for sure will be on this list. Number 43, Law Gray. Nice. Which we know about from Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. He is an Ewok who, uh, he's like the witch doctor, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think. Is there a picture? Yeah. He uh, he brings all his homies back in Galaxy of Heroes if they die. Like how you actually are gonna <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. yeah. The He's laptop. like he can he can heal. He's crucial. Yeah, is to he the one? Ewok squad. Is he the one that makes the after C three PO convinces the Ewoks that he's actually a god and they should leave his friends alone? Is he the one that communicates something in Ewokies and everybody? And then C three PO is like, oh wonderful, we are now part of the tribe. Like he's the elder. <laughs> He's think, one, yeah, he's one of the elders. I think but he's the one that gets shocked by R2-D2. He's got the bird skull on his head. Yeah, so, okay. Um, so he's into witchcraft and voodoo, huh? That mm -hmm. is not something the kids should be into. He reminds me of the, the rock guy from Frozen. Mm. You know, the guy they bring else, or, uh, Anna to? Yeah, I don't agree, but anyway. <laughs> In that game, you would think, like, a team of Ewoks would really suck, but man... They got some synergy, and they will wreck you if you're not ready for them. What's their main thing? Is that they just keep 
they giving, just keep coming. They keep giving each other multiple attacks or something? It's basically like Logre is the healer, and there's another character that protects Logre at all costs. So it's like, if you don't get to Logre, they just, just keep coming back. And then they yoke you. There's one guy that's got one strong hit, and he just keeps coming back and hitting you. Whoa. Ready for some controversy? Bring Number it. 42, General Grievous. Wow. <laughs> um, 42. That's super low. That is, yeah, that is. The thing is, though, Grievous from the movies is not that strong of a character. Grievous from the show is a freaking menace. Dude, four, just he has four lightsabers and four arms. Right. How do you top that? You ever see that? Love, like, the meme, like, Darth Maul ignites his lightsaber and then a bunch of them come out. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's that's not right. General Grievous is top 15. What a grievous mistake this list has made. <laughs> Sean, you're the best dad joker around. I'll be here all night, folks. <laughs> um, 41. Karis Nemec, the kid that dies in Andor. He gets what? crushed. Yeah, oh. Nemec's manifesto. Nemec's manifesto. You know, he's the one Sean who... Sean was saying he's important. He's the one who writes a mini speech that... Uh, sort of kind of inspires exactly one person to do the rebellion. His key line is oppression is the mask of fear. Remember that. Mm. I found his speech a little cringe because he's like just a young guy who obviously doesn't know what he's talking about. Just nobody cares about him until he's dead. Well, that's true. That's a life lesson. Exactly. Good for him. It, it's just wild that a kid's dialogue is considered more important than General Grievous, the main antagonist that's, of the Clone Wars. That's a really good point, David. Yeah, but Grievous didn't get crushed by yeah, he a, did. a million trillion credits. He got crushed by the Force. Mace Windu, that's why he coughs. Did you know that? Um, I tried to forget it. But, <laughs> yeah. Mace Windu hit him with that. Got him. Yeah, I feel bad for Grievous. He was just trying something. Gravy boy. Number 40, Admiral Piet, which I okay. know the name from Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. Admiral, obviously Admiral a, Piet from is, Strikes uh, Back, right? He's Empire Strikes Back. I actually love that character because it's a really good example in that movie of setup, reminder, payoff. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. At the beginning of the movie, the Empire is going to attack Hoth, and one of the admirals mistakenly jumps out of hyperspace too early, thus alerting the rebels that the Empire has arrived and they throw up their shields. Vader finds out and he gets upset and he force chokes the guy through like the intercom system. Okay, right. that's your setup. Your reminder is later on when they lose the Millennium Falcon in the asteroid field and the other Admiral says, I will personally take responsibility and, you know, report this to Lord Vader myself. Cut to him dropping dead on the floor because Vader Force choked him too. Yep. And then the payoff is at the end of that movie, Admiral Piet was responsible for making sure that the hyperdrive on the Millennium Falcon didn't work so they could never escape Cloud City, but they got it working. And Vader watches as the Millennium Falcon jumps to light speed, thus taking the his only chance of capturing Luke Skywalker with him. And then it just cuts to Admiral Piet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. But then he doesn't die. And if, instead, Lord Vader hangs his head and walks off somberly. Mm. Why? Because he just had his heart broken by reconnecting with his son. Mm -hmm. Set up, reminder, payoff, subversion of expectation. Dang, Irvin Kirshner, you dog. Dude, this is a master class. Well, Mr. Huddleston loved him because... He is completely out of his depth <laughs> <laughs> taking on this role. Yeah. Um, anyway, number Next 39. Man up. Max Rebo Band. <laughs> this is the guy in Jabba the Hutt's palace. Um, he is the blue boy. <laughs> <laughs> the flute player. Right? Yes. Uh, I feel like I've seen that guy at like half Clarinetist. of the worship concerts I've been to. <laughs> you know, like the really fat key keyboardist? You know what I'm talking about. Is he a keyboardist? I thought he was a flutist. No, he's a clarinetist. Mm. Mm. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No. no, Max Rebo's the blue guy who plays the keys. Consistent. Yeah, Sean's right. Yeah, he's the keyboard. Dang. Good call. Who plays the clarinet then? The, the uh, know it all. Butt, the butt faces. <laughs> butt face? Yeah, the butt faces. Oh. <laughs> no, you're thinking of the cantina. In yeah, the, I am. Who does play the clarinet? Yeah, da 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 da. 
All right, number 38. Aunt Baru. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, yeah. I'd say after after the Obi Wan Kenobi, they used the old picture of Aunt Baru, oh. not the Obi Wan Kenobi Aunt Baru. Weak. Yeah, but she'll always be the young Aunt Baru to us. We'll always remember. She was strapped and ready. She pumped, punched her Eva. She was the true MVP. She did what nobody else could. It's crazy because that actress who plays young Baru, it's the same actress in Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. In between Revenge of the Sith and the Obi Wan Kenobi show, she got wrapped up in a weird cult. Yikes! And her and her husband escaped it. Good for her. That's yeah. wild. So she's had got, she not done that, she wouldn't have gotten to punch Reva in the face. She's got vengeance. We've in her all heart. been there though. And she this podcast probably wouldn't have happened, dude. It started everything. Yeah, that for, episode. So we we thank her. What's her name? Young Brew. Aunt Brew. Yeah. What about her? Uh, What's, thank, her <laughs> What's the actress's name? Doesn't matter anymore. It's not important. Keep going, David. Since she joined the cult, she doesn't have a name. Oh, she's just um, a number. Page. Number 37, Angry Tuscan Raider. Which one? The one who shakes his staff over and over again above his head. He's the one who smacks Luke. Mm. And then they have that's, to, like, the shot is too short, so they, like, repeat it multiple times. <laughs> yeah. That's a good jump scare. That one, the, the new hope, it'll get you. It's my alarm mm-hmm. clock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I love the story behind that scene. You're right. They had to loop it. Keep going, Dave. Number 36. K2SO. Okay. That's the first droid we've got. No, gonk droid, but no. This guy's the best droid. K2SO is great. His one-liners are unmatched. Um, Yeah, you're right. It's a bummer he died. Dude, his death was heartbreaking. He went out a hero. He did. Someone had to go. Someone, Someone had, had to, to die. die. Uh, number 35, Saw Gerrera. Now, Saw Gerrera annoys me. I can't stand Saw Gerrera. Yeah. Sean, your what impression some, of him, though. What are some reasons, you, what are some so reasons you can't stand Saw Gerrera? I just don't care for his story. Um, he's a punk kid in the Clone Wars that Anakin oh, trains. Yeah. Clone Wars kind of gives you the wrong yeah. impression. Or the right one. Oh, no. I, I, never, just, I never watched him in the Clone Wars. I found out later after I saw Rogue One, he was in yeah. a young guy in the Clone Wars. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's kind of like a... He's an extremist. Yeah, he flies off the handle really easy. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm not not a big fan of him. It's um, hard. For, I'll say this. It's hard for me not to like him because he's played by the wonderful Forrest Whitaker. Mm-hmm. He's a good boy. Who I think in real life is a lot more like Saw Gerrera than he's willing to admit. Wow. He just sounds like he needs a... a <laughs> Breath of fresh air. Sounds like he's, he's a breathing I, treatment. I can't breathe. He can't find his inhaler. <laughs> We've all been there. Hmm. All right, number thirty-four, Count Dooku. Dookie, he's great. I think that's low, man. I think he should be up there. I see what you're saying. At least top it, twenty-five. It's not low enough on the list, is what you're saying. He should be better. We'll say that. He should be, high. yeah. He's lower low. number, higher ranking. Um, number thirty-three, we got L three thirty-seven. This okay. is Lando's Come girlfriend. <laughs> okay. More than K two S, so you gotta be okay. kidding me. Hold on, guys. Let's uh, uh, let's. Isn't that probably the worst character in Star Wars? Just the most poorly executed one. Yeah, ever? that's a sp- swing and a miss. Yeah, not top fifty material. Nope. Number thirty two, Mon Mothma. <sighs> the Pokemon or the character? The character. She nice. again. Moth, you guys Moth, went over Moth. Andor last week. You kind of covered uh, Mon Mothma's story and how it was just kind of sprinkled throughout the episodes. Moth, Moth, Moth. I just want to say, I gave zero dangs about her story, <laughs> and every time it was on, I felt like I was ten years old again because I couldn't understand anything they were talking about. <laughs> and I didn't know what was going on. It's all about the politics, bro. I wanted politics action. of Star Wars. So I'm not a fan. Um, she's a goat character in uh, Galaxy of Heroes. Just she's saying. A uh, she shown? Number 31, we got Nian Num. Ah, Num. yes. Lando's co pilot. I mean, top 50, probably not, but he's a fun character. <laughs> he has basically no lines. Doesn't he die in the last one? You mean um, Rise of Skywalker? Yeah. No, he's in, he's in the Millennium Falcon. He doesn't die. Isn't he? I think so. No. No, it's he's Lando not, and... No, it, yeah, it's Lando and Chewie. Chewie. Yeah, Nia, Nia no, is there somewhere. Okay. I thought maybe um, he died. They wouldn't do that to him, would they? I hope not. My oh. boy. Look at what they've done to my boy. Yeah. 
All right, number 30, Wedge Antilles. Yeah. The hottest pilot in the Rebel fleet. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Ewan, played by Ewan McGregor's uncle. That's right. That's wild. Um, Why do we love him? Because he's a survivor. Dang. <laughs> he survived and he lived until they filmed Rise of Skywalker. And, and I then, shall die as one of them. Let's get him back in the fold. Um, yeah. You know what? He's got some cool... Uh, he's in... Isn't it Rebels? Uh, he's in the Rebels as like a young pilot. Yeah. His origin story is like he was going to be a pilot for the... Uh, Empire. My yeah. thing is, I love Wedge Antilles from the Rogue Squadron game. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of Wedge Antilles action in that. Yeah, mm. it's good stuff. He's your boy. I mean, he doesn't have a huge role in the movies other than right. he's in A New Hope. Does, right. He shows up in uh, Empire Strikes Back too, right? Um, he does. He's he's, he's, he's a the, part of the. He's the first pilot to bring down one of those ATATs. Yeah, thought so. Uh, number 29, we've got Greedo. Yeah. Now, I mean, when you when you compare it to, like, General Grievous. That's what I was going to say. You got yeah. Count Dooku. You got Grievous. I mean, what he was super important in the storyline. Oh, wait. No, I'm thinking of Watto. Wait, who's Greedo? <laughs> Greedo is Han the solo guy shot. that Han Solo shoots. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I just, I don't. <laughs> He wasn't that important to the storyline. Well, maybe he would have been if they kept that deleted scene in Phantom Menace where he's getting beat up by young Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They should have kept that. They should have. Dang. Um, swung and miss on that one. Who's he could Greedo? be in the HBO series with Sebulba and the Rancor uh, guy. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, number 28, we got Biggs Dark Lighter. Okay. It's oh, uh, Luke's best Luke's friend. Luke's best friend who gets murked. Yeah. Biggs. Biggity. I think Wedge is more important than Biggs. Actually, Biggs is kind of the one that ropes Luke in. Yeah, Biggs Dark Lighter makes more sense um, if you include the A New Hope deleted scenes where you have more time with him and Luke yeah. at the start of the movie. Is that where they're at uh, Tashi? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, you find out that Biggs is going to join the Imperial Academy, but that was a lie. He went and joined the Rebellion. Maybe it's Biggs is in Rebels. Maybe. Because he does. There's a storyline of him joining the Empire. That's one of them. And then he defects. And then he dies. A hero's death. It's very all's quiet on the Western Front. You join the war to hang out with your buddy and he gets killed. Gosh. Dang. Star Wars is dark. Dude. Talk about it. PG. Get your parents involved. Number 27. Uh-oh, David's mad. All right, hands on the button. I'm going to rage. Rose Tico. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like Rose. I actually, I you actually, like her more than Grievous and Count Dooku? <laughs> at this point, it's like, uh, you know, I'm just juggling balls in the air. I can't tell you which one's first. <laughs> I can only tell you which ones are in the air. Oh, I actually, man. I, I like Rose Tico. I wish that, and not because I don't like the actress, not because I don't like the character. I wish her character had actually gotten killed in The Last Jedi. Because I think that would have been a really good thematic bow, wrapping a bow on her story and what she was always trying to communicate to the other characters. I think you're right. Because her she, sister dies. I think if she would have died at the end of Last Jedi, her, she would be warranting of this top 50 ranking. I think what this list is doing is giving a taps off to the actress because of what she went through. Yeah. I don't think she is a top 50 character, but I also don't think she is a bottom five character that like everybody else says. And First of all, wants her to die. Second, mm. she's a hero. She is. Because when, when social media got bad, she did literally the smartest thing anybody can do and just got off. Sure. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, all things, you know, her character aside, the actress definitely went through it. And that sucks. Yeah. Especially in a... That's why I'll never be in, in a movie movie. that big. That's not why. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, number 26, Poe Dameron. Okay. Best, best Starfighter in the galaxy. <laughs> Poe Dameron's got some cool action sequences in his X-Wing. Um, I personally don't care too much for... Um, I will say, po. I did get hit in the feels from his acting. Somehow Palpatine returned. <laughs> no. They fly now. Hit it, John. They fly now. All of that, no, that blows. But the scene <laughs> where he he is leading the charge against all of these destroyers that can now blow up planets, and 
all of a sudden his guys start going down mm. and he starts losing and he has that moment where he's like i'm sorry like he literally is like you, right. you hear it in his voice you see it in his face and he's just like he doesn't know what to do he's mm. like i'm sorry i thought they would come i'm sorry i don't know what to do and then he turns around and the whole freaking galaxy is there that scene literally <laughs> that expired. scene was like the best emotional scene in that trilogy i think i think that's a good that one that one actually hit me that's a good song yeah i thought they did a really well good scene good job with that um honestly it's tough to get emotionally attached to any of the sequel characters am i wrong in saying that i get attached to them in other ways what does that even mean? what's her name (laughs) rose tico keep going david no i was gonna say that the chick on Tatooine in Mando, the act, the comedian, I can't remember her name. So that joke really bombed. <laughs> Didn't go as the planned. girl that fixes his ship. Speaking of girls, the one number that dated. 25, Deidre Miro from Andor, the chick, the Imperial chick. Oh, yeah, Deidre. Which I think you're wrong about Ciro liking her. Ciro? Cyril? Cyril. Why is that? Um, He wasn't into her. Oh. They had that dialogue. Where he said, because he was like stalking her like straight up. And she like threatened him. And he's like, I'm not, it's not like that. I just want to be a part of the Empire. Mm. So it wasn't about her. It was about him making his way through the ranks, like getting back into the Empire. Well, Dave, let's put it like this. You're a very good looking guy. You've never had to have an incredibly uncomfortable conversation with a girl that you feel totally out of your league for. And so from his perspective... I think he was speechless and he was looking, he was pulling for anything, trying to get her to not shoot him for stalking her. I mean, maybe, I guess you kind of say what you got to do. <laughs> you know, it's, do what uh, you, wait, it's, it's, you have to say, say what you got to do. Say what you got to do. Oh, brother, <laughs> I stink. He does. <laughs> Keep going, David. All right, Deidre. I definitely like- not better than Grievous or <laughs> Count Dooku. Or- yeah, they're going to kind of be our like talking points to go back to. Uh, number 24, Padme Amidala. Wow. No. 24th. No, in I'd love to way. see any other girl on this list <laughs> jump from that pole and land on the tiger <laughs> and not say ow. <laughs> uh, okay, so just female characters. Who is higher than Padme? Other than Leia and Ahsoka. In Star Wars? Yeah. Who is going to be on this list? Rafa. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe. Wait, who's Rafa? Oh, God. It's the worst episode in Clone Wars that you can watch. Oh, well, what about Sid? Uh, Nah, Sid sucks too. (laughs) Sid. Okay. Star Wars is really fun to all of you listeners out there. (laughs) Star Wars is great. Rafa. We really like Star Wars. But we also really like hating on it sometimes. <laughs> Just aspects of it. Keep going, David. 23, Admiral Akbar. <laughs> it's it. a trap. Do it, Sean. Do what? The thing. <laughs> um. Well, I am impersonating him because like when he got sucked out that window and died, there was no <laughs> air left for him to make any noise. Sean, you wrote uh, on your blog, we've talked about it, but you wrote, uh, you oh, describe yeah. it. Oh, yeah, Akbar's soliloquy. Everybody stop. What you're doing, we'll link it in the show notes. You have to read it. <laughs> Number 22, Jack Porkins. <laughs> Dude, Porkins is the goat. Good for Porkins. They came from behind. <laughs> our, uh, our brother Chris has a shirt of him, and it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Honestly, Porkins needed that. Definitely not higher than Padme Amidala. I know. But, but I'm glad he's on the list. Well, let's read why he loves him. Let us count the ways. Firstly... Because he's the only non-evil fat guy in Star Wars. Sure. Dang. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the Gungan leader. He comes around. It's a good idea. Boss Ness. Loser. All Boss right. Ness is more like lawful neutral. Sure. I guess. Um, 21, Grand Moff Tarkin. <laughs> Such a chotch. Dude, in Clone Wars, you just despise him. Yeah. He's such a snake. And he hates the Jedi, but that Anakin Skywalker fellow is okay. I don't know why he reminds me of that kid from uh, Recess. The one that's like best Randall. friends with the... Yeah. Oh, Randall. Yeah. Ugh, what a name. Randall. That's the Monsters, Inc. guy too, right? Yeah. Shout out to all of the Randalls um, who are subscribers to 99 Nerds. Dude, if, you're, if you're a Randall and you're a good dude, 
comment and let's talk because I've never met one. <laughs> 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 um, Shout out to the Randys. All right, number 20. Boba Fett. Oh, wow. Sean, is Django going to be higher than 20? I, I, now. I, hope so. I think if Boba Fett, if this list would have been before the Boba Fett show, he would have been higher than yeah, 20. I was going to say that. I think the Boba Fett show knocked him down. He's my son's favorite character. Dude, I'm just going to say it. Dude, say it. Why is there such a hype around Boba Fett? He doesn't do anything. Why it's, do people like him? It's the mystery. The mystery of the bounty hunter that brought in... I mean, he brings in Han Solo. He's the only... You talked about this. He's the only guy that freaking gets something done. People like characters that are competent. Yeah. He's competent in Empire Strikes Back. He's but his no death is dead. so incompetent in... He doesn't die. Well, he did until Felonius brought him back and Favronius. That's what they call a retcon. Which they've Dave. never done that before in Star Wars. Oh my gosh, it's never happened before. <laughs> well, um, you know what's another reason I think people like Boba Fett? People just like a bad guy with a mask. Yeah. Because you can project anything you want on that guy. Very true. He doesn't say a word. Well, he does. but Until, he's... until he takes the glasses off. Or I'm sorry, glasses off. Until he takes the mask off and he's just like some weird guy with glasses and a mustache sure that's true um which i i know i just kind of hated on him but i did just buy his helmet so. <laughs> dude you're off the rails with that dude i don't want to talk about it anyway my uh, birthday's coming up if anybody wants to get me the lego version of his helmet i got the i've got grogu and i've got darth vader's helmet what did i just see uh oh they're do they have rex and cody now Lego helmets. Oh, I saw that commercial. Because it's the 20th anniversary of Clone Wars. Dang, it's been Dude, 20 years. Rex helmet. So do I. They don't sell, like, the helmets that I'm no, buying. I they don't, don't sell Rex. I looked no. it up because I wanted one. I'm sure there's one out there, and it is probably stupid money. They do. There's a lot of people that do 3D printing Yeah. that sell. Right. For, it's like 60 bucks. That's what Noah got, right? He got a Mandalorian one yeah. that was 3D printed. But Mandalorian is a Hasbro legit one. Right. Um, but yeah, I've been collecting helmets, so that's my new obsession. <laughs> Started you, collecting helmets. Are you still collecting Funko Pops? Yes. Are I you actually, still collecting lightsabers? Yes. You have got a problem. Yes. <laughs> uh, Funko's lightsabers and now helmets. Um, I've got Mando's helmet. I've got Iron Man's helmet. Nice. I've got Spider-Man helmet from uh, in, uh, Endgame. Dope. That yeah, yeah. nanotech one. Um and then I just got Boba Fett's helmet. Because I'm going to have a man cave of all the helmets, all the lightsabers, and all my Funkos that I like. Are you going to fill the helmets with the heads of your enemies? <laughs> Keep going. All right. Number 19. Oh, Vice Admiral Haldo. <laughs> oh, gosh. You got to be kidding That's me. That's balonious. We are the spark that will light the fire that will restore the Republic. <laughs> Did she say that? I thought somebody yeah. else said you that. You were the chat who took Ad Admiral Akbar's place. Someone had to go. Someone, Someone had, had to die. die. She had to die. Purple hair. Yeah. I like care. Laura Dern as an actress. <sighs> yeah, she's great. She's uh she's in Jurassic Park. She's why they Jurassic love Park. Why they love her. She's got purple hair. Okay. That's why they love her. Sure. Sure. Um she's the perfect she, blend of warmth. I'm glad she's more important than Padme Amidala. Right. The mother of Luke Skywalker and Leia. The motivator behind Anakin becoming Vader. You dingle hoppers, get this list in order. You butt yeah. crack. I need... have a theory, actually. Do you think the list you accidentally are reading it backwards? Nope. <laughs> nope. Is this the worst characters in Star Wars? Okay, keep going. <laughs> Number 18 is Grogu. Sure. Lovable. I mean, he has probably earned more money for Disney than any other character in recent history. Taps yeah. off to Grogski. Yeah. I'm excited to see where his story goes. You know, I saw somebody break down how the entire buildup of Mandalorian and the entire emotional tie was Grogu. Like the scene of Mando and Grogu separating was sure. the pinnacle of emotion in that move in that show and Mandalorian removing his helmet. And there's all of this build up to that, all for it to be undone Don't say it. by the Boba Fett series, where his stint with Luke is so quick and he immediately goes back to the Mandalorian. And then somebody joked about how in the season three of Mandalorian trailer, it's like those who did not watch Boba Fett 
are simply left in the dark like wait grogu's back what happened <laughs> yeah if you did not watch boba fett and you watched the end of season two it's like what is going on or was that season one uh, no was, season two season he two. gives it up okay luke comes in that's one of my all-time oh, right. favorite you know what i'm thinking i'm thinking those mandalorian episodes in boba fett were a part of the mandalorian show they weren't which we need to know are the best parts of the boba fett show <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> I, it, somebody basically was just ripping John Favreau of like you had all this build up to Mandalorian all to just undo all that emotion in the Boba Fett show and again I hardcore watch this stuff and I just got confused that the Mandalorian episodes in Boba Fett are not a part of the Mandalorian show what are you gonna do you know how you're at a wedding and um, yeah the bride is walking down the aisle mm -hmm. with her dad yeah yeah and the dad's crying sure it's not like his daughter's gonna die Right, right. But it's emotional. So maybe that's what happened with Mando and Grogu. I'm giving my boy up to Luke. It doesn't matter that, you know, you're going to, he's going to be on his honeymoon and then you're going to like see him next week. It's just like, <laughs> just emotional. It's just emotional at the moment. You I know? guess that's true. That sure. is a great analogy. You really an analyzed that. You're a systematic, really dynamic, <laughs> complex guy. I liked Grogu better when his name wasn't Grogu. It was just Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. <laughs> yeah. There's more mystery. There was more sales. Um, all right. 18 is Grogu. At number 17, we got Kylo Ren. Uh, I really like Kylo Ren. I'm sorry. I like Kylo. Why are you sorry? I, I wish there was more to the his story. The internet's going to come for me. There are those who say he's the best part of the sequel trilogy. I would agree with that. I don't like how he died at the end. Yeah. That kind of sucked. Well, I don't think you're supposed to like it when anybody dies. Uh, well, that was weird. I think that he was... <laughs> <laughs> I liked him a lot in The Last Jedi. I liked his story arc in The Last Jedi. I liked that he killed Snoke. Like, yeah. in the moment, that was sweet. That was legit. That was like a, heck yeah, Kylo. Do that thing. Right, guys? Anybody? <laughs> Don't run from the Lord. <laughs> Don't run from my Kylo. Keep going, David. Number 16, Darth Maul. Heck yeah. These are like my top 10. Yeah, Darth so Maul. So this is getting... Darth Maul is a dynamic, systematic character, Sean. But is he complex? Yes. yes. In Clone Wars, yes. Is he interesting, though? Yes. Oh, Sean. Okay. His story arc is the best part of Clone Wars. I liked how his lightsaber glowed red in the very definitively blue hologram at the mm. end of Solo. <laughs> That's a great point. So. Yeah. That's my thoughts about Darth Maul. Um, they did him dirty in that, but he's really great in Rebels, too. You know what's cooler than um, a bad guy with a mask? A bad guy with horns. That literally looks like Satan. And doesn't say a word. <laughs> yeah. Except yeah. He just Black Adam. <laughs> he just kills. <laughs> yeah. That's all he cares about. He's a menace. That's he's not a, all he cares he's about. A Watch Clone Wars. Well, now I have to, yeah, now I have to pretend he's more than that. He's, he's good, Sean. Don't worry. All right. Our top 15. At number 15, we got C-3PO. Um, Star Wars is a story about how everybody hates C-3PO. <laughs> <laughs> he's the punching bag of the galaxy. Somebody's got to be. True. True, true. You'd hurt your hand if you if, if R2-D2 is the punching bag. What do you think about his origin story, Sean, and how they never really explained that? They're just trying something. They <laughs> <laughs> because it's like it's one of those things that just like don't worry don't think about it just let it go just forget that it happened you're talking it's... about C-3PO yeah and how Anakin made him and right. then he's been around Vader and Vader doesn't give it that <laughs> nice exactly can you imagine if God did that to us <laughs> he creates us oh the maker he just completely gets ignored and like we're in the same room as him <laughs> he doesn't acknowledge us <laughs> savage oh well Anakin owned him keep going David alright number 14 Ray. I love it Thank you for not putting her in the top five. Yeah. Good job, Huddleston. You know, they were trying something with Ray. The Alenians. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I the love... The callbacks are immaculate in this episode. I love the uh, those videos going around of like the theaters at the end of... <laughs> yeah. The Rise Audience of Skywalker. Audience reaction to her saying Ray Skywalker. Ray who? And everyone's like... No, no, God, don't do it. No, somebody stands up. <laughs> don't, no, don't. Ray, 
Ray Skywalker. <laughs> and then they show uh, Luke and Leia, and somebody yeah. just screams out, "Where's Ben?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where was Ben? Where's Chewbacca? Where is? Wait, he didn't die. Never mind. I forgot his name. <laughs> Gunji. Where's Gunji? That's all right. Number thirteen, we got Lando Calrissian. Lando. I like old Lando. I was gonna say old versus new. I like old. Yeah. He well, but me. I don't like elderly Lando. Oh, man. oh, he's just jolly. <laughs> <laughs> That's like how he's always laughing. <laughs> he's just there. Poor Billy D. Williams. I'm just gonna say it. He reminds me of a black version of my dad. Mm. So I just have dad like, loves capes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Lando's always wearing a cape. So he's got a mustache. Yeah, he does. My dad's got a mustache. It's true. Lando's well, my dad. Well. Speaking of my dad, uh, well, next we got Stardust. <laughs> Jyn Erso. <laughs> the daughter of the man. Uh, Jin's cool. I'm gl- I like her so, above uh, Ray. You know, it taps off to this writer. That's a good call. I still think Padme deserves to be higher, but okay. I mean, she made the ultimate sacrifice. All right, I want to throw in my I want to throw in my phone a friend. Why? Why? What are the reasons? She got the plans. Why do we love her? Jim might Jin might be the first Star Wars heroine for whom gender simply isn't an issue. There's no romantic subplot, no gold bikini, no isn't she bossy jokes. She's just hard as nails. A tight-lipped, no nonsense booty kicker. Oh my who God. refuses to let her daddy issues get in the way of Jeez. seeing the mission through. Felicity Jones' performance is brisk and restrained. This is not a character who wants you to like her. She genuinely doesn't give a dang. She's a babe. All right. That's, I actually like that. That's, that's yeah, really good. I think that's a good breakdown of her character. She's won me over all over again. Honestly, that Scarif sequence is top notch Star Wars. The, the dudes who, the Corvette who rams into the. Yeah. Uh, wow. Star Destroyer. <laughs> wow, Austin. I'm just going to get up now. <laughs> the bad guy ship. <laughs> the bad. When, when the good guy ship hits the bad guy ship. <laughs> that is some top notch stuff. I love that sequence. Yeah. S- sequence is a word I use a lot in this podcast. Which too if bad we're, it's too bad we're not going to get a Rogue Squadron show. It, yeah. yeah, Patty Jenkins. Patty. That was a movie, I think. It could have been anything. I would have bought it. Um, She's the one who made Wonder Woman, Sean. It happens. Yeah. Number 11, Cassie and Andor. Wow. I like Andor. I'll say it. I like Andor. I didn't like the show, though. Sean, I, I really, love the show. I liked your impression of him in the last episode. Wait, uh, wait did you love the show or not? <laughs> I just said, like, I just kept going back and forth. And you guys, I'm sorry. Never actually acknowledged me. But, um... <laughs> No, the show Andor was good. I liked the character more, Cassian. Yeah. I, I love that they just started with him just killing two guys. Because um, that's how they start it in Rogue One. Yeah. Um, you know, I never thought about it, but yeah, what's better than killing one guy? Two. Two. <laughs> no, it's, But he felt bad about it, Sean, so it's well, great. Yeah, one guy was an accident, the other one he just shot in the face. Right. So by the time you get to Rogue One, he's a little bit more of a mature. He shoots him in the back. Yeah. Yeah. He's open, you know, open casket. Right. I, I like the character. I uh, I like... Mm, I just like that side where he is just uh, do what you gotta do. Get it done. He'll kill you if you... Like in uh, his show, the guy who wanted to split the credits and he's like, oh man, I gotta kill you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love that. <laughs> just does it. There's no like morals. <laughs> man, should we all rewatch and review Andor? <laughs> I think we should. I the show was very good. I should actually watch it, shouldn't I, guys? The show is very good. I just like don't care. Are there any big bad guy ships in it? Yeah, there, there is. There there's is the actually. there's the arrest destroyer, whatever they call it. It's like the one with all those satellite dishes on it. Dang. Mm-hmm. I gotta watch that show. That's a pretty cool sequence where Luthen's ships. It's on my away. list. I wanna watch it. Famous last words. Alright, this is the top ten. Do we wanna pause here? Okay, so where is Luke gonna be, David? Mm. Well, Ray's gone, so I'm gonna say one is Vader, two is Luke. Mm. That's my prediction. Mm. Where's Chewbacca? Ooh, seven. I say eight. Wow. And then Han is seven. Leia six. Han is four. Fingers crossed for Jar Jar Binks. 
Oh no. Where's Qui-Gon? Ooh, Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan will be number five. Yeah. Yoda it will be number three. You think? Palpatine will be four. Um, who are we missing, Sean? I mean, we got our original cast, Luke, Leia, Han. That's three. We got our prequel cast. R2-D2 will be number six. Ooh, R2. Do they split Vader and Anakin as two separate characters? No. <laughs> <laughs> we do know Vader killed Anakin. It's true. He destroyed him. He was weak. What about Freck? <laughs> I don't... I just feel like he's not in there. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Uh, I know who number 10 is, so it's not fair. But what about Finn? Finn is number 10. There it is. Can you see my screen? They fly now. You can see your heart. I don't I don't agree. I, I don't, don't think Finn was a good character. I think Finn could have been number 10. Finn could have been the best. They freaking destroyed his they, character. They didn't know what they were doing with him. They really didn't. And then at the end, just throwing it in like, Oh yeah, he's force sensitive. <laughs> remember when he was on the poster for Force Awakens holding Anakin's lightsaber? You remember that? Have you ever seen the video of him watching the trailer for the first time? Yeah, and he like loses his That's mind. That's one of my favorite videos. He's with like his family. Yeah, and the before. last quick shot is him igniting the lightsaber. His family goes berserk. And he's like, <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> it's like, it is an amazing reaction video. He like jumps over the couch. And yeah, he's just going absolutely insane. That he could have been a top 10 character. How much would you pay to be that happy for one moment? Dude. A lot, probably. I've said that watching that trailer for the first time is like my favorite trailer experience of all time because of the weight of a new Star Wars movie. Sure. At, the music, the Millennium Falcon, everything. Do you remember where yeah. you were when you Who the heck it? is this guy with the... the, the, the Excalibur? The, the, the little, the, <laughs> what's it called? The bad guy ship. <laughs> Austin's not on his A game today. Not even his B game. E11 blaster? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about Kylo, Kylo Ren's lightsaber. lightsaber. Oh. With the cross guard. Yeah. Anyway, keep going. Um. All right. Number nine, Luke Skywalker. Wow. Dang. I thought that he'd be way lower. It's probably because they brought the kid version into the mix. So now Yoda's going to be number two. You think? Yeah. I think he's the most important Star Wars character. In terms of culture. In terms of just ripple effect. Okay. He's made the most waves in media. Second only to the Vader. Keep going, David. <laughs> And he played, and he was a playable character in the Xbox version of Soul Calibur. Oh my gosh. And that is a game. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I don't know what that is. Me neither. Number eight, R2-D2. Wow. Lower than I thought. Yeah. I mean, he's in every movie. He doesn't even say anything. No, but have you seen that? But everybody knows what he's that saying. theory about uh, Anakin telling him to stay with the ship and Luke telling him to stay with the ship. And then that like means somebody dies. Uh, what? Yeah, he, no, he, you you got it. He correlates that with like bad things are about to happen. Right. So that's why he doesn't listen. He doesn't leave Luke ever at, at Cloud City. He follows him because. But then that that blast door shuts and cuts him off. Well, he tried to follow him. I mean, mm. give give the boy credit. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> I like when people. I like when people try to retcon theories into. A 1981 film based off a 2002 film. The question is, was Georgi Lucas aware of that when he had R2-D2 stay with the ship on Mustafar? I can answer that question in this podcast. <laughs> in this sentence, as a matter of fact. Say it. In two words time. It is no. <laughs> that was three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, have you seen that meme? Of like it's like a giant uh, tower of blocks and at the very bottom is one little block holding up like everything on the right mm. side and it just says like this person in 1980 making one little cosmetic effect to the Star Wars and it like turns into like all these <laughs> theories and like yeah yeah that's, that's how it went it was the pink shorts uh, sound guy yeah is he on that list he should be I'm not sure. Okay. Is, from what? <laughs> from behind the scenes of A New Hope. 
Okay. There's a guy getting sound, and he's he's gotcha. wearing nothing but these small, tiny pink shorts. They were in Tunisia, which is northern Africa. It was hot. Yeah. Which I'll get back to that. He was trying something. You, uh, okay. Hey, <laughs> number you guys, seven. Real quick, should we make a trip to Tunisia one of these days? Dude, I'm down. I don't, I don't even know be, what, then what we that can is. Be true, <laughs> then we can be true fans. We can visit the set. Yeah. Is that a... That's yeah, a hotel it? now. It's <laughs> the actual, the actual, uh, yeah, the actual. Tunisia uh, is a country, Lars, David. La- Lars Homestead is actually still there. That's legit. oh, that's the deserts. Yeah, that's where they filmed. I thought that was all that's fake. Tatooine. What do you mean all fake? You They're in the they desert. <laughs> what are you talking about fake? <laughs> I guess I don't know. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you got to watch Empire of Dreams, dude. So, I'll, yeah, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> you watch Empire Dreams, and I'll watch Shang Chi, Daredevil, and Andor. <laughs> There's more to that list, but we just yeah. we keep forgetting now. Yeah, Logan, I've got a long list. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, number seven, Emperor Palpatine. Sure, mastermind playing chess against himself during the Clone Wars. I'll say this, Palpatine. Would never have worked without Ian, Ian McDiarmid. Yeah. Playing the same guy over all that time. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if they had to recast a younger version of him, I, I just don't think it would have worked. You know true. what I mean? Imagine uh, imagine an alternate universe where they had an old guy play him in the uh, Re- Return of the Jedi. And then it's like, oh, well, you know, obviously that actor is either not around anymore or he's way too old to play the part. So we're going to have to recast him. Just wouldn't work. No, I feel like uh, um, what's his name? The X Men series, Professor X. I mm-hmm. feel like that worked. They had uh, uh, Patrick, Pat- Sir Patrick Stewart, and then the other guy played the younger version. Right. I thought that worked. Maybe I liked it. But think of it like this: in, uh, I mean, at least I never knew growing up that the Emperor's name was Palpatine. So in the Phantom Menace, he's just Senator Palpatine. Right. Like he's not, there's really, at least in my young mind, there was no correlation between him and the Emperor. That's but true. I knew, because I'm like, that's the same actor. Oh my gosh. I'm really sorry to do this, guys. I'm going to totally derail us. Did you know they made six Transformer movies? <laughs> Dude. I saw a clip from one of them. I was like, dang, which one's that? And then I got into this rabbit hole. If I looked it up on like, where do you, where streaming platforms have these movies? There was uh, Mark Wahlberg was in three of them. How many Sharknado films have there have there been? Probably six. Yeah, well, How many Velocipaster movies have there been? Not, not enough. enough. Have you guys seen those? <laughs> I, I'm aware of it. I haven't watched it, dude. Sure. It was, it's basically a movie with like a twenty dollar budget <laughs> filmed on someone's iPhone. Nice. Oh my gosh. Keep going, David. Sorry, I had to just get that out of my head. You're good. I just want to say something really dumb for a second. Bring it. Ian McDermott played Palpatine throughout the six movies. Yeah, he was like only or nine. He was only like thirty something when he played the Emperor. Dude, I did just not know that, that. Just with all his crazy makeup on, <laughs> I actually didn't know that either. Yeah, That's I insane. thought they just reshot those with no, him in 1983. He was he was, was he really? He was there. They just put all this old age makeup on him. Freaking dang! Yeah, I don't. I didn't know that. I don't know what other stuff he was from at the time. I don't know exactly why he got that role, but and I, I'm sure. I'm sure George Lucas wasn't necessarily thinking ahead like, oh, I'll right. have this same actor play him. I got to get a young guy. Yeah, so that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, taps off to George. Keep going. Yeah. All right, number six, Yoda. Oh, that's lower. Man. Uh, I thought number two for sure. Now, who, so, so what who's number two? Yoda's too, Yoda's too short to be in the top five. Oh, man. That's true. You, have, you must be this tall to ride. Yeah. Poor guy. Girls don't like him. I thought he was super influential. Is Mandalorian in the top ten? Dude, we didn't even talk, didn't about, even him. talk about him. I what about he's going Wace, to be. Wace Mundu? Yeah, we got all these Jedi Dude. too. Kayati Mundi? Ah! Kit. What about the droid attack <laughs> on the look? Yeah. <laughs> Kit Fisto? Luminar on Dully? Uh, the sound guy in Mando. The civilian in jeans. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mandalorian is going to be, <laughs> and that's a good, good job. The Mandalorian is going to be in the top five. Cause I think he is, he's on my top five. Yeah. Freaking boss. Remember when they said we're making a Mandalorian show and everybody's like, they're making a show about Boba Fett. Like, no, it's a different guy. Like what? 
And now look at us. We're talking about top five. Remember when they couldn't resist to put and now we like, in that show? <laughs> we like that Mandalorian versus Boba. Right. In Boba's show. <laughs> Man, Man, layers to this. So who, this is top five? I think Mandalorian's top five. What do you I'm, think, I'm think Mandalorian is number five, I mean. And five. then Leia? No. Chewbacca? Leia? Han? Han. Darth Anakin? Vader. We, Vader. Which Obi Wan. You're right. Why is Mace Windu not on this list? Mace Windu's a joke. No, Mace Windu's great. He's just not that cool. <laughs> uh, did you see Boba Fett, the actor, Tamora Morrison, is like pushing for Mace Windu to be alive still so Boba Fett can have a season two where he tries to track him down and kill him? Django's revenge. If they bring Mace Windu back. <laughs> I will rage. Honest, I mean, I'm going to be honest. There is nothing I can do <laughs> to influence the Star Wars world. But David. they bring Mace Windu back. Dude, there's been so much that have happened since we've last seen Mace Windu. Right. You would think he would show up. Right. You know, I hate that. Yeah. So. And look at the success of Mandalorian. You introduce a new character and it's like... It, like Sean has said, there have been episodes where they get a little too fan servicey and they get a little bit too... Uh, heavy on bringing old people back let's bring the old back the whole gang back together but the mandalorian in his own right is a top five character i think he's at least i think he's gonna be on this list he's on my list so come on disney like let's get some more original content going right don't just pull mace windu back into the fold yeah please please don't you know the further we get from george lucas having control over star wars the more it it sounds like bad fan fiction yeah. yeah. What if Mace Window didn't die? Imagine though. It's like uh, George uh, Lucas is God. Oh my gosh. And keep going. When Moses was on the mountain, yeah, he came back to Disney with all their false idols. <laughs> yeah, yeah. George Lucas said, "Here, Disney, take care of the people." And he went into retirement. When he came back, we're all worshiping Ray and Haldo and. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great analogy. An old Leia flying around in the universe. Who's with Aaron her? in all this? Is it Filoni? Or is it no, John no, no. Favreau? It's Kathleen, Kathleen Kennedy. Kennedy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah. now that George Lucas is back meeting with Filoni and yeah. things are happening. Favreau has been given the reins to right. Mando. So is, is Favreau then um, Joshua? I was going to say Joshua. What are you guys talking about? The Bible. <laughs> <laughs> he lost it all. <laughs> then in his darkest hour, the words of a single book began to change his life. Bible. And Bible, man. I didn't even, when, you, when you said that, I didn't even know what the reference was until Sean added it in the edit. Don't and I was crying that. laughing. I, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Fun fact, I had not watched those newer, and by newer, I mean, I stopped watching Bible Man stuff at like 1994. Yeah. That was the only ones we had. I did not know that they redid the intro with that ridiculous line. Yeah. yeah. So I had to find a compilation of all of the intros on YouTube to find out that you weren't just making that up. I'm glad you kept looking and didn't just <laughs> give it up or throw it off to me being Dude, an idiot. Shout Good out job. to Bible Man. Shout it just hasn't hit the algorithm yet. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come. Uh, what number are we on? Number what five. You ready? About? Oh, what I was going to say is imagine a world where Hammerhead from the Cantina is in this list, but Mace Windu isn't. Okay, whatever. That might be racism. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, number five, Chewy. Nice. Yeah. Uh, what did I say was going to be number five? I said Mando would be number five. Is Mando not on this list? Or is Mando number four? Number Chewy. four. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Wow. Sure. Chew uh, Chewbacca. He can't beat Kenobi. That means Mandalorian's not on this list. I don't Leia so. Han Vader. You think? I know. Is that what we think top three is? I know. Or Han Leia Vader. You guys are forgetting Jar Jar. There's Jar Jar. <laughs> There's Ventress. <laughs> yeah. Ahsoka. There's what Mala Ahsoka There's number one. There's the Pikes. <laughs> yeah. The guys that get decapitated by Savage Press. Where's Savage in this? Savage, dude. There's the bike gang from Boba Fett. Oh, oh no. Which biker though? The one on the pink or the green bike? The girl. Yeah. The 
There's Cobb Vanth, Kurt Santon, Bosk. Dude, you're Dengar. Fighter. <laughs> uh. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Cad Bane. Cad, Cad Bane. Bane. Sly Snoodles, the girl, the lady alien who sings in Return of the Jedi. <laughs> there's Caleb Dune. There's Wolf Dune. Hera. There's the entire Hera. cast of Rebels. Yeah. Ezra. Dude, this list sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a great sound clip for the beginning. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why Thrawn? are we just. Yeah. Why? Thrawn is a great villain. Why'd they stop at 56? Let's just do the. Let's do 60 bonuses. True. Yeah. Dude, we all just listed 20 characters that should have been on this that list. That were better than 50 of these people. <laughs> Dang. Swing and a miss. All right. John. Watt Tambor. Whatever his name is. Yeah. Why? The Gian Oceans. The no, 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 that's uh, Poggle. Poggle the lesser. Yeah, that's what I said. The what, Banking Clan will what, sign your treaty. What does, uh, <laughs> what does uh, Wap Tambor say? The Techno Union. <laughs> we'll sign your proposal. <laughs> <treaty. now. laughs> we'll sign your proposal. <laughs> oh, never mind. Um, he hits the remix button. <laughs> He's got the auto tune on. <laughs> a battle droid. A B1, a B2, Maybe a droid like a Droidica. Droidica. <laughs> What's the proper pronunciation? I think it's Sean. Droidica. Where are those Droidicas? It must be that. Master destroys. Qui-Gon! Yeah. Sean! God dang. Your favorite character. It's okay. Dude, this list sucks. I'm used to it. Big suck. But on another hand, it's good. I like it. <laughs> For the content. Speaking of Thank another you. hand, <gasps> hand, <gasps> number three. Hand solo. Number three. Princess Leia. Okay. Oh, okay. Number two, Han. You ready? We don't Number know two. that. We don't know nothing about two. Han Solo. Dang. Number Bing one. Bong. Misogyny. <laughs> How come Han's above Leia? Number one. The number one character, according to Tom Huddleston of Time Out website, is Darth Vader. So I think the biggest snub is no Mandalorian. Yeah. Because he's, he's a top five character for me. I love that guy. And this article was published December 14th, 2022. So Mando is relevant. Yeah, he's yeah, he's firing on all cylinders at this point. Oh, Thomas, what do you think, Sean? Um, I think number one is unquestionable. Yeah, Darth I Vader. have I have more thoughts than I have words, honestly. Wow. That's kind of how I feel. What if I told you Darth Vader's not as cool as it used to be? Um, You shut up. You dummy. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll just mute my mic. <laughs> Sean's gone. So what do you think, David? Dude, Darth Vader is a tragedy. He is. And it's beautiful. Um, and the more I get older and older, the more I understand Anakin. Wow. Dang. Because when you're deep. a kid, you're like, oh, he's, why did he go to the dark side? The dark side's bad. It's like, kid, you're going to grow up and you're going to learn. <laughs> Adulthood is the dark side, dude. <laughs> I think that Clone Wars extrapolates on his. That's a good word. Let me on his story so much better than the movies. No, there is a dark side that you want to just fall into when you're older. <laughs> I'm serious. It's not even a joke. So I at one time would have told you that Han Solo was extremely overrated. But then after years, I rewatched the original trilogy and I said, dang. I totally underestimated Han Solo. He's one of my favorite characters. I think his role in Empire Strikes Back, that dude is a freaking hero. He's the hero of the movie. What I think was accurate that you said, whoa, Luke Skywalker at nine, was it? Mm -hmm. I think that's accurate. I think Luke Skywalker is overrated. Top 10, yeah, but the bottom of the top 10, he's kind of whiny. Remember when she was like, I love you, and he was like, I know, I know. I know. Good line. What a Chad move. It's a good line. Improv too. Well yeah. jobbed, Han. I mean, I don't know, man. What do you if 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 you cut out the Skywalker family, how many is that? Uh Luke and Anakin Ray. and technically it's technically Ray. <laughs> and uh might as well just pull Leia and Han and Chewbacca out. I mean, could we just do that and make this a little bit more of an interesting list? <laughs> yeah, maybe. What do you think, David? Who's who's the most overrated character? Most overrated? I think Luke is. Ooh. I mean, if we're going for like 
Some controversy. Bring it. I really don't care for Haldo. Um, nobody does. That's not good. I just want to start it. <laughs> no, you just had to get that out of your system first. No, I don't like Ray, which that list didn't give her much love. Right. So that was okay. More than Padme, though. Um, man, I'm trying to think. I, I really no. can't think of anybody. You know who wasn't on this list? Sean? Who? Shmi. Oh, there was no father. We already have said no Mace, no Kiati, Wado, no Wado, no I Jar Jar. Think, I think Wado's more important than Greedo. That's why I was confusing them. No Jar Jar, but that's probably for the best. No Captain Tarpal. <sighs> Remind me who that is. He's uh, the uh, Captain Gungan who fights oh, alongside yeah. Jar Jar. The one who saves his life a couple times. Yeah. Jar Jar! Jump Jar Jar! Jump Jar Jar! Jump! Jar-Jar. <laughs> jump, Jar-Jar. jump. Oh, oh. That's right. He was never going to make that jump. Come on, man. Physics. <laughs> All right. You guys ready for our next segment? Transition away from Star Wars? Let's do it. This is going pretty long. All Let's right. See. So on Instagram, I came across something. Another list for you guys. Real quick. Top 10. Um, this is the top 10 a Disney bonus movies. list. Top 10 Disney movies. Top 10 Disney movies. According to IMDB. Wow. Number 10. Wow. It started at number nine. Hang on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> number what? 10. Big hero six. Big hero six is really good. Never seen it. Ironically, that should have been six, right? Dang. I've never seen big hero six. I would. Wow. I've I pl- saw it. And you guys I've played it. it. Isn't that weird in that we have, a, we have a nerd podcast? <laughs> and when we're talking about like superhero shows or like Star Wars shows, Austin's like, yeah, I haven't seen it. Ask but me I've, anything about Big Hero 6. Uh, do you know anything? Baymax. <laughs> Baymax is the goat. Dude, it's a good family. Ask movie. me anything else about the uh, Big Hero 6. The hey. brother dies. <laughs> Doesn't yeah, he? He does. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's the only thing that sucks is like, it's classic Pixar. I think it's Pixar. No. It's classic Disney. Let's start it off with emotional attachment. There's The parents aren't in the picture. It's all about him and his brother. And then boom, brother gets killed. Mm. Tough. What do you think it's like sitting in those Disney like he, creative meetings? Do you think they're like, they come in the meeting? They're like, all right, guys. So uh, who are we going to kill? Yeah. Well, you talk about dark side. That kid has moments where he tries to go to the dark side. Because he just is fed up because of everything that's happened to him. But Baymax shows him a different way. As well as his Motley crew. Keep going. Number nine, Monsters, Inc. I think Monsters, Inc. is overrated. Yeah, any show that has a Randall in it. (laughs) (laughs) That's a good call. Lord. (laughs) Number eight, Spirited Away. I don't know what this is. It's some weird... Is that the horse movie? No, it's some anime chick with a weird looking dragon. Huh? Spirited away. I don't know. Top 10 Disney movie is a movie we've never wait, heard of. Wait a minute, hold on. Spirited away is an anime. It's according to... Where's my phone? IMDB rankings. Oh. I don't care what it's according to. That's right. You said that. I didn't pay attention. <laughs> okay, so this is just... I don't fully agree with that. We'll go with number seven. Tangled. I've seen that movie way too many times that it just tangles is good. It's it was good, but yeah, it's not Disney. It was a cat. It won Academy Award for was nominated for best animated feature film. You it's, did lead this off by saying it's an Instagram. It's by, post. He, it's so by Miyazaki. Not credible. <laughs> yeah. Let me let me stop here and say <laughs> I found this on Instagram <laughs> by a meme account. <laughs> I posted it. So it should be very credible. <laughs> so I don't know what you're talking about, Sean. It's literal. All right. Whatever. All right. Number six. The integrity of this podcast is compromised. Toy Story. Toy Story is great. How great would it be if in there was another Toy Story and they were in an aisle in the store and it was just a bunch of Funko Pops <laughs> and it was all like Woody's and as he's running by, they're all just going, howdy, 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 howdy. <laughs> thought about that earlier today at work. I don't I know why. You should email Pixar about Toy Story 5. Do you think they'll have Funko Pops of all the Marvel characters in the Secret Wars finale thing? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Sean, that's a great call. Oh, I think Funko would love that. Did you guys hear the the rumor that just came out? Bring it. So there was a rumor last week that Tobey Maguire came mm-hmm. out and said, I want to play Spider-Man again. Right. 
the new rumor is he is going to play Spider-Man again right. before Secret Wars. Whoa. That is a hot rumor on the press right now. What if Dude, it's just like give a, me your hottest press rumors? What if it's just like something lame like a Super Bowl commercial or whatever? That would suck. No, I think in the Marvel universe. Um so yeah, there's that rumor. And the other thing I heard, now this is gonna blow your mind. Dude. Someone had said they got a sneak peek at the new Ant Man movie coming out. Okay. Sean got us tickets. Shout out to Sean. Now this is not a spoiler. It's just a rumor. Um, they came out and said that there is a major big figure in this movie that is not in any of the marketing for the movie. Oh. And is going to blow your mind when they show up in the movie. Whoa. Who is it, Sean? Jesus. Dude. In the quantum realm, yeah. He floats around there. But the Watcher beats him. <laughs> or uh, <laughs> what's his name? Ultron. <laughs> Austin, my understanding is you you really should be you really should see Shang Chi before Ant Man. Okay, is what, I will. Heard, is what I've heard. I will. They're very it's relevant. I will see it. You won't. <laughs> Bet. I have till February sixteenth. I got this. We're just pulling out all the stops. Get Austin to watch if it. If I can just, I'll just watch it ten minutes at a time. <laughs> Every day, ten minutes. Um. But anyway, back to the back list. to this very important, credible yeah, list. This is. Do you th Sean, do you think Sean, uh, Jet Li's the one is on here? By the way, <laughs> we we left off on Toy Story. That's how we got here. <laughs> You're right. How did that happen? All Funko right, number Pox. five. Uh, number five, Finding Nemo. Uh, Finding Nemo's good. Pretty good. Number four, The Little Mermaid. Oh, oh, oh sucks. <laughs> Y'all excited for that remake? Um, no, I, honestly, it was a little disturbing seeing the <laughs> real version of Ariel. <laughs> I didn't like that. It's tough. I don't like that. It's it, tough to see that CGI tail. It turns action. out that real water is like um, a lot murkier, 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 murkier. There's a lot murkier. Yeah, murkier, murkier than uh, than animated water. Not in James Cameron's world. Dang, it's true. Yeah, but like on pan. Why are we doing this? Us? <laughs> it's an hour and a half, and we and we should just finish. Yeah, this keep list. going, dude. Number three. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Number okay. two, Aladdin. Beauty uh, and the Beast was nominated for Best Picture. So wow. It was a yeah. It's it was hard swing. I didn't know that. Uh, Aladdin's Aladdin might be my favorite of the Disney Renaissance films. Really, second to Hercules. Dude, Hercules is great. What's the number one movie? Second, Sean? third Lion to King. Emperor's New Groove. Yeah, it Lion is. King. Lion King. Call Wait it. a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Emperor's New Groove isn't on there. No. Oh my gosh. It's not Disney. It was too early. For what do you mean it's not Disney? <laughs> it's Disney. They put Spirited Away on there. And I knew that's it. Definitely I knew not it would Disney. get them going. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Someone in the comments said Ratatouille was robbed. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Ratatouille. Uh, well, Lion good. King's great. Yeah. All right, that was a good list, David. Good job. Yeah. You, know you know what's great about these top lists mm. is they make me hate the things that are higher. Yeah, um, they make me hate the the right. top ten because I realize they're just pushing other things out. Yeah, yeah. So like, I'm never gonna look at the hammerhead guy in the cantina the same way. Yeah, you jerk. You robbed me of Mandalorian. Yeah. That makes no sense. Man, I, I'm just now processing. Not only was he not <laughs> top five, he wasn't on the list. What is going on? It's like tall poppy syndrome played Gosh. out in real time. Man, where's my head at today, guys? I'm, I got to wrap this thing up and get out of here. Go to bed, I think. Yeah, let's do that. What do you think, Dave? I think I'm good with that. Um, I think we should honor some of our commenters, though. Yeah. Let's shout him out. Oh, brother. This guy <laughs> is awesome. <laughs> Who, Sean? Jeffrey. Shout out to Jeffrey. Shout out to Jeffrey. First of all, great comment. Thank you for the, the rundown. Anybody who didn't see in our last episode, Jeffrey gave a really good uh, uh, rundown of what he thought of Andor. And you know what? Thanks, man, because I'm about to watch it and I'm going to take that knowledge with me. Also, thank you because you clearly listened to the whole podcast. Taps off to you, brother. Tap, tap. Tap. Tap it off. Thanks for putting Sean in his place, you yeah. idiot. I think what's cool is uh, Sean one, getting put in his place. You commented. That's Thank cool. You. <laughs> Two, um, you respectfully told us what you disagreed with. 
Yeah. That's legit. Respectfully. Um, <laughs> number three. We're all Americans here. I love how in-depth you were. And then how you, in five words, said, I have no opinion on Bad Batch. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. That was great. Good stuff. Thank you, sir. Uh, shout out to all the listeners. Shout out to those watching on YouTube. Like I said in the last one, Sean does an amazing job editing these videos. If you've only ever listened to our podcast, I would definitely recommend clicking the YouTube link because uh, Sean takes a lot of time to do it and he does a great job. And for lists like this, where we're going through one thing at a time, mm -hmm. and not only is it the 50 things we cover, but we also go off on tangents every time we talk about really something. Do. Sorry about that, guys. There's a lot of content and you if mean, you have no you idea 56 right. 56 56 <laughs> characters you, you mean 66 oh sheev hey, don't run from the lord <laughs> <laughs> yeah nothing like a top 56 list we got to do more of those top 56 list videos david right if you could find more lists that are top 56 that would be great um, but like I was find, saying, why not go to 57? <laughs> do it. You won't. Like I was saying, we we listed off 56 people from that guy, yeah. and then we all rattled off like another <laughs> 70. So there's a lot of content. And if I say Kit Fisto, and you don't know who the heck that is, mm. Sean puts a picture right here. Poor Sean. Of Kit Fisto, <laughs> and then you have an understanding of what we're talking about. So if you don't, if you're not in the loop on what we're saying, yeah. look at the screen on YouTube, and it'll bring you in. Good stuff. Good stuff. But listening to it's always great too. We do have that option. It's on Spotify. It's on iTunes. It's on all the streaming platforms for podcasts. Wow. And if, like we said in the beginning, if you could like, comment, subscribe, give us a five star rating on those platforms, we would really appreciate it. We're so thankful for you guys bearing through this ridiculous list. <laughs> Taps off to David for being the front man to lead us through this fine journey that we went on. And thank you guys for listening. This has been episode 29 of the greatest podcast in the nerd galaxy. We appreciate you and we will see you next time.